For today's quiz, we have a heavy mass, and it's rigidly affixed to this piece of wood using this bolt, so it can't slide. Our question simply asks, if I wanted to balance this, either on my nose or on a finger, should I have the heavy mass on top, like this, or should I put the heavy mass on bottom? Here's what your quiz looks like today. I'll hold that up for you. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. Typical student responses are always the same. The answer is you have to have the heavy part down below. Lowering the center of gravity, that's going to give you stability. And that's the answer we always get. Okay, let's actually see if we can balance this. The first thing I'll do is I'll take the heavy mass and put it on the bottom. And very quickly, you can see that I have problems. And it is very, very difficult to balance. But if I flip it upside down, where the heavy mass is up top, I have no problem at all balancing this. Do it again. Much, much easier to balance. Why is that? Well, think about this. If I were to take this apparatus and I have very little mass out here and I try and get it to move back and forth, I can do it very easily. But if I try to do it the other way, this has an awful lot of rotational inertia. It doesn't want to change its motion. I can use other things. I could take this big heavy weight and do the same uh, type of demonstration. This one's actually easier. The heavier the weight up there, the easier it is to balance. And if I turn this over, it gets out of hand rather quickly. If you don't have either of these, I can also use a ring stand. And you have to be pretty careful with this because you can end up smacking yourself. But if I put the heavy weight on the bottom here like this, I can't balance it at all. But if I flip it upside down, it becomes much easier to balance. And that's because of the rotational inertia. All right, if you stick around, I'll show you one more variation of this. All right, I have a more extreme case here. The others were nice and rigid, but this apparatus is flimsy. You could see that I have uh, a mass taped to the bottom here. And the question again is, should I try to balance with the heavy mass on top or the heavy mass on bottom. And again, students will say, of course, the heavy mass on bottom. But it's the same problem. It's very easy to get this to move. Whoops, let me try this again. Very easy to get this to move back and forth. But trying to get this mass to move back and forth takes a lot more effort. So even if I have a, a flimsy rod, it is much easier to balance when I have the mass up top. I'll show that one more time. And you can see that it bounces all over the place, but you can balance it. Pretty interesting stuff. Rotational inertia. That's our quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.